Hi everyone. Um, today I have a different project to share with you guys. Um, for those of you who follow my channel, you know that I don't really do much of 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts just because like I never really got into them and to be honest they overwhelm me because of all the space but um, today I have a 12 by 12 layout to share with you. Basically I was I was cleaning my um, I was organizing my papers and my scrapbook stuff yesterday and then I came along um, these two photos that I had mounted on um, a paper like I think over a year ago and I never got around to smash to scrapbooking them and um, basically I so to give you a time frame um, I had bought the this and that graceful collection I think it's called graceful from uh, Echo Park and that was the same time that I mounted those photos using the, that collection and I never got around to doing it so um, yesterday I found the, the photos I'm like you know what let me just get this out of the way I want to make a layout and at the same time use up some of these papers because I've had them forever so this is what my layout looks like um, hope you guys can see it pretty good so yeah, um, I don't know, I mean, I don't know if there's specific rules or like visual, I don't know, rules or steps to making um, 12 by 12 layouts, but I just did what I liked and I just did what kind of came to me. It took me maybe I would say like an hour and a half. Um, I scrapbook while watching Buffy, so I get distracted while, while watching the show and making the page. So maybe it took maybe an hour and a half, two hours, I'm not sure. But I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I wasn't in a rush or anything. So basically, all the papers you see are the Echo Park Graceful Collection. And um, this one actually is from the Take Note Collection. And I just, like, um, distressed it with some Victorian velvet. I think that's what it's called. The, um, that pinkish distress ink. To make it, like, because it was too white. So I kind of just toned it down and kind of made it blendable with the page with the rest of the pink. And the photos were already mounted on this blue polka dot paper, so um, I try to add as much blue as I can into the layout. And um, this is a really old photo of me and my friends uh, at a bar. So let me go by, I guess, corners. Over here, I uh, stamped the date, and then this little cluster, this is a, a, this is a um, Lucky Charm die cut, and these are just like some rosette flowers I bought at, I found at Winners, like a three packs of uh, these little American Crafts rosette thingies. This is just a scrap of piece of paper from actually from a gift bag that I um, cut out. And then up here, these are all, except for the heart, these two little die cuts are from the Maggie Holmes collection and then the heart is from this BU collection from Fancy Pants that I got a collection pack at, at Winners. And then over here, I did another cluster. I used the um, Maggie Holmes camera, the another rosette flower thing, and the stickers from the Take Note collection Echo Park. That was the last minute add-on. I actually just put it on at, when I was finished the layout. I just wanted to get rid of it. So I think it looks okay. And then over here, this is the title. It says Mating Call and Prancing. And it's a weird title, but it just basically describes each photo. Uh, we were young and uh, we started blowing into the bottle and it made a noise and then I guess one of us made a joke about it being our mating call or something. And over here we are just prancing. <laughs> so pretty much that's the title. And I use stickers and then here these are the October Afternoon Mini Market. And this is again another chipboard piece from the uh, BU Fancy Pack collection. So it's fairly simple. There's nothing really... Um, complicated but I really like how it turned out I like the layering I like sort of how it's like one over another and then I just try to make everything like layer well I guess and um yeah I had a lot of fun and it wasn't that stressing <laughs> so maybe I'll make some more uh the last layout I think I've ever made was this one for um a challenge so yeah and that's using the same collection pack so that is my little update on my um, first 12x12 12 12 layout I've made in a year and a half, I guess. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you, you know, if you like to see more of these, maybe I'll challenge myself to make more 12x12 12 12 layouts. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.